Hello and welcome to West Midlands Police Authority. Let me introduce you to your Police Authority members. Chair Derek Webley and Vice Chairs Councillor Diana Hollallen and Councillor Judy Foster. Jean McIntyre, Brendan Connor, Ron Amman, Zahid Nawaz, Councillor David Caunt, Councillor Keith Davis, Councillor Bob Jones, Councillor Susha Baines, Councillor Ernie Hendricks, Councillor Malcolm Cornish, Julia Lyle, Councillor Mohammed Arif, Bill Holmes and Roger Hughes. Our Chief Executive Jackie Courtney, Treasurer Mike Williams and Legal Advisor Michael Blamere Brown. We'd like to give you an overview of some of the work we do. We have worked closely with the force to ensure that structural reorganisation under Programme Paragon met with the objectives that we had agreed. Over the year, the Police Authority's 90 volunteer custody visitors conducted 777 visits to the 23 custody sites in the West Midlands. We are strengthening our role in integrating equality and diversity outcomes by undergoing training to help us drive performance in this area. At our November conference on Gangs of the West Midlands, speakers highlighted the need for better assessments of community impact and tension monitoring. In recognition of the link between antisocial behaviour and the need to respond to people who feel vulnerable, we have pushed for the provision of a repeat caller database. This is now in place. The West Midlands has achieved one of the highest female representations in the police service nationally and demonstrable progress on black and minority ethnic representation. We are taking a full role in planning and preparation for the Olympics, including risk management, resources, security and collaboration. The introduction of stab vests for police community support officers has been agreed through our discussions with the force. Our joint partnership with the force is focusing on improving relationships between young people and the police. Three of our authority members represent us on the board of the Association of Police Authorities. They ensure that the voice of the West Midlands is heard at a national level. This is complemented by Jackie Courtney's involvement as Chair of the Association of Police Authority Chief Executives, which represents senior staff within police authorities. The Authority is a responsible body on community safety partnerships, which are the leading local partners for reducing crime and disorder. We bring together heads of community safety together with Government Office the Local Criminal Justice Board and the Police Force and work together to make sure that agencies do not have conflicting priorities and share best practice. This year we have worked with the police authorities and forces of Staffordshire, Warwickshire and West Mercia to produce a collaboration strategy which will protect our communities from risk and harm, secure greater efficiency and effectiveness in the use of public resources, and improve public confidence and trust in policing. We are represented by Councillor Bob Jones on Birmingham International Airport Security Executive Group, which brings together the authority, the force, the airport operator and airlines to develop airport security through collaboration. We consult with our communities through meetings, website feedback, questionnaires, focus groups, conferences and by attending events. In January, our annual business conference included guest speaker Lee Kettlewell from the Home Office who gave updates on the crime strategy. It's really a privilege to be here this morning to engage in what is a very important event in the life of the authority. The business community are an important community they had value to the community of the West Midlands and it's important that we understand some of the issues that they face in order to inform our strategic policing plan and our annual delivery plan about how the business community is policed. 
the information that we have gleaned over this um, event, the key stakeholders that have come together, the partnership arrangements that are in place here, in my view, have added to a successful event and I'm sure the beneficiaries of that will be the business communities of the West Midlands. In April, we met 15 members of Birmingham's UK Youth Parliament to look at the most effective way of consulting with young people. We have launched two major initiatives this year to give people better opportunities to tell us about their concerns. Our listening campaign was a series of public meetings held between January and March to invite people to tell us how they want to be policed in the future. A microsite has been linked to our main website. You can visit this site to find out what people said to us and how we have responded. Our other recent initiative has been to take some of our committee meetings out of headquarters Lloyd House to venues across the West Midlands, such as Coventry, Oldbury, Aston and Walsall. Our website holds a host of information including all our committee reports and documents and our Tell Us Your Views facility which enables people to share their opinions with us. It includes statutory publications such as local policing summaries, strategic policing plan, statements of accounts and annual delivery plan. In the past year we have welcomed three new members to our command team. Deputy Chief Constable David Thompson from Greater Manchester Police. There have also been some departures from the command team. Phil Gormley left his role here as Deputy Chief Constable to take up a new post as Chief Constable of Norfolk Constabulary. David Williams has retired from his role as Head of Human Resources. Suzette Davenport will also shortly be leaving us to take up her new role as Deputy Chief Constable of Northamptonshire Police. We thank them for the tremendous contributions they each made to policing in the West Midlands during their time with us. We have also been sorry to say goodbye to four members of the Authority team, Councillor Eddie Hughes, Councillor Tim Sorden, Councillor Zaka Chowdhury and our legal advisor Phil Tart. It has been a pleasure working with you and we thank you for the service you have given to the people of the West Midlands. The work of the Authority is important to all of us and none of this would be possible without the fantastic commitment and dedication of the staff that actually makes sure the wheels turn. And a night like this is also about recognising their contributions. So I'd like to say on behalf of the Police Authority a big, big thank you to all those individuals that have made the Police Authority year work. Many thanks. And finally, it is you we would like to thank for your involvement with the Police Authority. All we ask is that you use this opportunity to share with us your views about policing so that we can use them to ensure your police service can most effectively meet your needs. Thank you.